right. So Richie Jacobs, he asked, what do you think of all these videos talking about the Euphrates River drying up, saying prophecy is being fulfilled, even though that doesn't happen until after Jesus comes back and God is pouring out his wrath. So it is interesting. They got, you know, nonstop, constantly people talking about this, like it's something. And... You know, the fallen angels, there we go. I mean, if you're going to make it completely imaginable, you might as well go all out, right? The fallen angels, Marvin Martians, Nephilim, all that sort of goofy stuff. Zombies. And, you know, this one, it's one ridiculous claim after another. And I'm going to show you what the Bible says about it. The false messiah is rising. Well, it's not this guy. <laughs> the Antichrist is the Pope. It's always been the Pope. Weird things going on with animals. Uh, weird things been going on for a long time. And I would contend that these videos are an example of all the weirdness going on in the world right now. And something terrifying has happened. What the, boy, you gotta what? You if you see a title like that, you gotta click on it, don't you? Holy cow! All kinds of weird stuff going on. Look at that. Gotta click on that and watch that. All right. So, anyways, I just want to scroll through these a little bit. Euphrates River dried up, and golden mountains appeared in the Congo. The drying up of the Euphrates River and the appearance of the Golden Mountain in Congo are often associated with signs of the end times. The Euphrates River and the Golden Mountain that shocked the world gave a signal that the apocalypse was near. As the Prophet Muhammad said when the Euphrates River dries up in this country. <clears throat> as the Prophet Muhammad said when the Euphrates... Alright, so that, that disqualifies everything in the video. The Prophet Muhammad, come on. It's just people want to believe anything but the truth. Now let's see if I, I can even spell Euphrates, right? Alright, so the first mention is of the four rivers in the Garden of Eden. Okay, we can dismiss that. The world has changed greatly since then. Let's just go to focus on Revelation here and saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates and the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates and the water thereof was dried up that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared okay so let's open that one all right so if you understand anything at all about the book of Revelation you know it here in particular this uh, chapter 16 and the vials that are being poured out <clears throat> are the wrath of God this is when we are up in the air with the Lord Jesus first the dead in Christ and then those of us which are alive and remain are caught up together with him this is when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven all right and we are gathered together now the enemy is gathered together at our feet until I make thine enemies thy footstool right so they're gathered at our feet in the vials of the wrath of God is poured upon them so the first one the seventh one whatever it doesn't matter that all the vials and so we go to so we go to the sixth vial oops so we go to the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates. Now this is all when we're up in the air and our enemy is at our feet. And this is just imagery to let you know that uh, the world is coming to an end. I'm giving you some uh, ideas. Uh, let's see. Let's go to... Um, Let's do it this way. 
I, I can't remember now. Second Peter two or second Peter three, that's it. Second Peter three. See if I can remember that. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens and or I'm sorry, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with a fervent heat. Alright, so this is again the wrath of God being poured upon the earth. Right? Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. And the elements shall melt with a fervent heat. Okay. These are just examples of the wrath of God. The world will be destroyed. The world is coming to an end. And when this happens, we are up in the air with the Lord Jesus. And our enemy is at our feet, being destroyed forever. And there's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. All right, so it's not complicated. All right, the, and this stuff here, this is all nonsense here. All of this. And you see people just pushing all these ideas out there. Anything but the truth anything but the truth to distract people and they're taking advantage of people that do, do not read their Bible and they themselves do not read their Bible if they didn't read their Bible they would know that this is this the idea of Euphrates drying up cannot possibly ha be happening right now if it was happening right now as the Bible says then nobody's saved and Jesus doesn't even come back he lied so no it's just all nonsense and um, you know, I did a video on this uh, a few months ago, and nothing's changed. It's just all nonsense, but you're exactly right. The river Euphrates dries up after we are lifted up in the clouds to be with the Lord. And it's not happening right now. It's not something we're going to see. If you, if you are on earth when this happens you're doomed doomed forever and again you know this this idea that people are gonna live in a thousand year reign of Christ this ought to utterly destroy it because this happens when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven and uh, you know I don't want to get into that right now but I'll just close it right there and uh, so it's interesting to see uh, people talking about stuff that it's almost like it's out of the Bible, but then you realize it's not out of the Bible and it's like they're teaching a whole different religion and it, as you saw in the video that I that I just shared it actually is a different religion That teaches this stuff This one in particular is called Islam. All right, so that's enough